terrible scenes for any of us who were watching what happened as it happened. How is he doing? He's doing well, according to his agent, who says he's just been overwhelmed by messages of support from fans across the world. And as you say, Ericsson has thanked them and says he won't give up. And those are words that so many people have been waiting for after they watched that match on Saturday when he collapsed just before half time. It was really difficult to watch and the image of his teammates has been widely praised as they circled around him while doctors try to restart his mm. heart. Now he was they were performing CPR for 13 minutes and during that time Ericsson's wife ran down to try and find out what happened to him. It was a very difficult moment for everyone, including his teammates who were visibly upset. But yesterday, for the first time since that game, they heard from Ericsson. He video called them and apparently told them to focus on their next game. And his teammates say that gave them a real boost after the shock of Saturday. Now, whilst Ericsson is said to be doing well and in a stable condition in hospital, he is still in hospital, doctors are still trying to find out what's happened to him and what caused this. Now, earlier this morning, one cardiologist here warned if a virus caused this, that could have left scarring on his heart, which could leave a question mark over his future in the sport. But for now, whilst that is being discussed, the priority for many is how he's doing. And Ericsson says he's doing well. Sangeet Talal, thank you very much for the update. Thank you.